Hi, I'm Bob Kovacs, and this is my review of the Repro X HDMI fiber optic cable. Now, if you're familiar with HDMI cables, you know that you can't transmit a signal very far over them. Typically, 30, 40 feet is about the maximum you can get with copper HDMI cables. However, the Repro X is a fiber optic cable, and because it's fiber optic, it can go much further. How much further? It can go up to 300 meters or about 1,000 feet. Now mine came packed in this classy looking box and on the back I learned that it was 10 meters long, about 33 feet. Inside the box is the actual HDMI cable. Now this is fiber optics and it's very flexible, very thin. The company says it's rugged. So I'm not going to test how rugged it is, but there are some characteristics about this cable that you need to know before you run out and get one. Let's go ahead and talk about what those are. First, the Repro X cable conforms to the older HDMI 2.0 standard, not the newer HDMI 2.0A or HDMI 2.1. That means that the Repro X cable is good for 4K video up to 60 frames per second. This is a typical HDMI cable. It's got normal HDMI connectors at either end, and you can see how thick it is. This cable is about six feet long. We'll say it's two meters. So typically cables, HDMI cables, are this thick. The nice thing about the Repro cable is that it is much thinner. It still has the standard HDMI connectors on the end, but it's a much thinner cable. The company says it's very rugged too, and I have no easy way to test the ruggedness. I'm not gonna break the cable in my attempts at testing it, but it does have standard HDMI connectors. However, the connectors need to plug in to specific ends. This one goes into the source end. Whatever device is making the HDMI signal, this end has to go into that device. And then the destination device, let's say it's a display, at the other end, you have this connector that needs to go into the destination device or the display. The ends are specific to whatever device you're using it for. Other than that, it has worked really fine so far, and I like the thin, flexible cable. It's very flexible, much more flexible than a typical HDMI cable. You can get thin HDMI cables. This is a thin copper HDMI cable, roughly about the same thickness as the Repro cable. However, as you can see, it's very short. So I use this cable to run from my camera to the monitor on top of my camera. Now, you can't get a copper cable that's anywhere near as long as the Repro fiber optic cable. The Repro cable can be made up to 300 meters or about 1,000 feet long, whereas this camera top mo uh, monitor cable can only be made a couple of feet long. The Repro cable came with this USB power inserter. Now, you won't need to use it most of the time, but if you have a device that does not have standard HDMI power, then it will not power the connectors on the end of the Repro cable. In that case, you'd need to use this power inserter, plug it into a standard USB power supply, and it will then supply power to the Repro cable. But again, most of the time, you won't need to use this power inserter. So here we go with the playback to show you what the video looks like on a big screen. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking the output of a 4K camera, I'm using the Repro cable to connect it to a 4K TV, and then I'm pointing a camera at the 4K TV so that you can see that the TV is making an image. So that image to the TV is being carried by the Repro cable, and that's a 4K image coming from a 4K camera going to a 4K TV set. I've been impressed with the Repro X fiber optic cable that I received. Keep in mind that I got mine for free. The company sent me a sample so that I could review it. But it is really rugged. It's made from very good materials, strong, sturdy materials. The ends of the connectors look very professional. There's nothing cheesy or, or low-end commercial about it. It's really rugged and high class looking all the way. So I've been impressed with this Repro X fiber optic cable. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.